Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making Terra Steel. Alright, guys, so we have a few things to go over um, that we kind of missed last episode. Um, and that is that I finally got this set up. And uh, what I did was I actually got it to automate. Now, right now, it's kind of creating a huge mess. I need to turn it off with the redstone signal or something because it's producing way more than I need it to produce. At the moment, as you can see, this is completely full. I've only had it running for just a little while. And, man, this is going nuts. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and made the AgriCraft farming station. And what I did was I just cleared everything out and I set these guys up. And if you use these right here, just follow this. This is a breeding, seed analyzer, um, plant upgrade, and a sorting and a harvesting module. If you have all those in here... Um, with a hoe and you feed it with these uh, crop sticks it'll automatically upgrade these to the 10 by 10 for you so you don't have to even bother with that so that makes it a lot easier that's what I did with the glowstone um, I did notice that it took a lot longer than me doing it manually but I didn't have to spend my time doing it so that also made a huge difference I guess if I take the hoe out of here it'll stop because I, this is a lot for right now I know I'm gonna need more eventually um, but I don't need it clogging everything up right now because we have a few things that we're going to get done. Um, I would like to start making Terra Steel if I can. I think Terra Steel is still the same recipe. Um, I didn't even look to see. I didn't even look to see if uh, Terra Steel was different. Um, by tossing the right materials, I'm assuming it's the same, uh, which is like a mana pearl. Um, a uh, mana steel ingot and all of that so it should be it looks like all of our stuff got kind of mixed up here um, but yeah I had all this set up <laughs> it got messed up just now um, but for these two runes that we're fixing to make um, one of them requires a water rune um, and we also need a mana rune and the mana rune is pretty simple to make um, you need a puffer fish so you need some kind of fishing to go uh, to be set up uh, we also need an aqua ball. We need another of these inscriber tools, which should be easy to, for you guys to make by now. Um, all this other stuff can kind of go over here. Okay. So I think that's all. I feel like I'm missing something right here. Uh, the bucket of water. That's right. And then also this. You need a fish. And that gets you jerky. So you put a piece of fish there, and you're going to need all that for this recipe. Okay, so if you want to get fish and you don't want to make the Mine Factory Reloaded Fisher, which is what I have set up over here, and honestly, it's doing a pretty good job. It's getting puffer fish, it's getting all that stuff. Um, it does have to have a fishing rod in here and it does idle. But what you could make, there is another fishing rod for Mine Factory Lo Reloaded. Let me pull this up. Um, this fishing rod requires some TNT, requires a regular fishing rod. It's a one-time use um, you make this stuff, which uh, this cord has uh, TNT in it. So if you make this fishing rod, and you go out in the water, and you throw it in the water, like this, or you right-click in the water, it's going to explode, and it's going to throw fish everywhere. <laughs> um, so that's another way you can get the fish you need rather quick. Um, just You don't have to stand in the blast radius, but it does throw fish everywhere. And that's a pretty decent way to get yourself some fish. Um, if you need it super bad. Um, that's how I got my first puffer fish, so that makes life a lot easier. Okay, so there's a little trick or tip for you guys. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and make this stuff. I think I have everything ready to go. Um, all we have to do is make it. So we'll put it inside of here. And like I said, we have to we have to get this stuff because we need um, the plain. Maybe it's not called a plain plate. We need the Terra Steel uh, agglomeration plate. So that's something that we're going to need, and that requires these, which requires that potentia, um, which we should be able to make. We'll be making that here in a minute. Um, I just, I have a bunch of this, so I shouldn't have any problems making this. Um, and then we're going to need three of those. So, some base and all that stuff. 
and some mana steel. But as you can see, it requires a rune of mana, a rune of water, and those are the only two we haven't made yet. So other than that, we should be good. These will actually consume our runes, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and get our runes made up. Shouldn't take too long for this to work. And there we go, and that should kick it off, right? Uh, looks like we're missing something. What are we missing? Ah, the mana, uh, the mana steel and mana powder. That's all we need. Mana steel, mana power, powder. Bam. And that should set it off. There we go. Okay, and we also need two of these living rocks. And while that's working, which looks like it's almost done, I do hear that spider. Uh oh, the divine RPG spider. Somewhere nearby. Alright, so those runes are done. Now, I'm going to make the, uh, the mana runes. Which, this right here, uh, the recipe for that is just mana infused string. Really simple. So, let's go ahead and get that on there. And that will use, it should use quite a bit of mana. This was like over a quarter of a mana pool that it required. I mean, it just looks like... I can't tell where... I, I'm pretty sure that it's coming from there. And what I can do is kick these on. Temporarily. Because we're going to need uh, as much mana as possible here in a little bit. For our mana steel. Eventually I'm going to run probably redstone conduits up to um, a dropper which will probably just be right here, and I'll just run cable up through them, so it'll just drop, um, and that'll be fine. Look to a timer, of course. Alright, that should be almost done. Yeah, I thought this one uses a little bit more mana. But once this drops, it's going to start producing... Yeah, there we go. We're going to start getting some things going here. I love how when you look at this, it kind of glitches out the... Uh, Kind of glitches that out. That bar at the bottom. There we go. Alright, we get one of those. Wow. Okay, so those are going to continue to cook up there. Should work just fine. Alright. Here's our other runes that we're going to need. We can put that rune there because we only need these runes down here. And we also are going to need a few other runes, or a few other things. Um, we're going to need a few of these. Uh, that's going to be eight. I think I need some more. And I think I have... I'm going to have to make some more. Gone through a lot of this stuff. There we go. That's going to produce... Um, by the way, this is going incredibly good. Um, I also have a tank down at the bottom. Or a not a tank, a drum. That's storing. I think it's completely full of LP now. Um, I also added these runes of uh, dislocation and then a uh, speed rune. So there's that on each side, um, along with I replaced all of these runes with um, the upgraded versions. So that way I'm getting a lot of things a lot faster, and uh, this is doing a lot better job. So pretty nice there. All right, um, I should have some more here. There we go. That should be plenty. I'll just replace that on this top side. And I'm going to get some more bottles. Until they start popping out here. And that should work. That should be getting us... 8. There we go. 16. I think that's how many we need. Well, we need 3. So all we need is that, actually. We have too many. There we go. I like to keep them in there, so that way I know where they're at. Okay. Now, we can get into blood magic. and Or we can just actually find the runes. I think it's this right here. Yeah. So, we need strengthened. I don't know how much of this I have. Uh, looks like none. So, that is nether wart. One, two, three, four. Or no, we need three. Correct. 
think so. Oh, we're going to need a lot more than that. Let me take a look at this real quick. Okay, so, Potentia Core. For each one of these, it's going to require one. So, we're going to need... Um, 12? So, 12... 12 Nether Wart. And we're also going to need 12 Bone Mill. Now, I'm not worried about my LP network anymore because it's completely full. Um, 150,000 LP currently stored right now, um, which is crazy. There's a lot of LP being stored. Um, I'm sure later on that, that number is going to look measly, but that's what we have right now. All right, and then we need the catalysts. I'm not going to use those. We use those for other things. I'm going to use these. And we're going to need 12 in total. So, bam. There's our 12. And this should get everything we need. Just like this. All right, and we just have to wait for the strengthened. Um, while we wait for the strengthened, we can put this in here. And we can get this set up. Um, what all other things was it, were we needing? Plane. This was the only thing that it takes a little bit to, to craft. But once we get this plate, it, our life's going to be a lot easier. Um, we're going to need Enderium base. That's not what I'm worried about, though. Um, so we need 12 quartz, 12 lapis lazuli, 12 glowstone. Quartz, lapis, glowstone. And quartz. And glowstone block, or lapis blocks. We already have that many. Let's make a couple more. There we go. All that is set up. And all we need is our 12. And bam, we are good to go. Alright, I do want to check. See how much LP this actually does require. 4,000 per craft. Ooh. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have enough. I'm not too worried about that. Because, yeah. 137,000. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Yeah, we're just waiting for all of that. And then the Enderium base. Let's make some more of that. And that should be good. And crafting all that up. I think that should start right away, actually. There it goes. Just want to make sure. By the way, I traded with this guy. And uh, I c completed that one. But he wants books now. So, even easier. Okay. So, the Enderian base is something that I know we're going to need. We're also... Pro I think we need these large... Bricks... Correct. Yes. Uh, good thing we have three of them. And we're going to need three of these. Of course. I need to set up auto crafting for these. So we need 12. Right? 12, yeah. And I think we should just be about ready. Almost have everything ready to go. Three of those. We're looking pretty good. Great. All we need is this to finish up. And it's done. We'll take that. I need that. Thank you. Bam. Finish placing all of this stuff in here. And we now have our three cores. And we should be able to place all of this. I think it was fire, earth. Or sorry, water, earth. Air. Up across here. And then a block of mana steel. And I have the mana steel over here. Let's just go ahead and turn that into a block. And of course it starts to rain. No big deal. 
All right, so we have the plane. So making Terra Steel uh, should be happening really soon. I wonder, does this give us or unlock anything? Ah, we did. We get a crafty crate. Wonder what that does. More diamonds. Mundane power catalyst, okay. And we get a filling agent. Okay. All that good stuff. What exactly... It's from Batania? I must craft stuff and then drop it. I don't know. I've not used that yet. I'll have to look that up in the book. Okay. Uh, so we have this. Uh, we need our Batania. I think it's in my... Over here. I do know we're probably going to need Lapis. can't remember how many blocks. I think it's five. Five or four. But we are going to need that. And we're also going to need Sparks. So Sparks is something we don't have yet. Um, we're also going to need Living with Rock. And my Book of Batania must be in my pack. It is. Okay. So we're going to put this somewhere special. Okay, as you can see... Our mana pools must be full. All right, so I have everything visualized. Um, it's showing it right here. And if you didn't know, that center block is something special. So let's go ahead and mine this out. So we're gonna need all of this. And it's gonna be lapis on the sides. Nice and colorful. And then living rock in the middle and on the sides. And then we're going to have to get rid of this guy that we have right here you, <laughs> that's our light. Um, but we should be able to get in the book and unvisualize now. And then on top of that goes our terra steel. Um, I'll go right, or I'll, I can't even pronounce it. Agglomeration plate. There we go. All right. So let's set up. That's for Terra Steel. Now, we need sparks. So we need mana pools to be able to produce that stuff. Oh, that's still going on. I need to turn that off. Alright, so I do need sparks. And I don't think sparks use the flower. The sparks are different now. So they use blaze powder. So we'll do regular sparks here. They require blocks of this. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy moly. And two blaze lamps. And we should be able to make ourselves two sparks. Okay. So now we have our two sparks and we have this mana pool. Let's place a spark above the mana pool. Or actually, let's not do that. I need my wand. So let's collect our spark. Let's place the spark above this, then place it above that, and now they should see each other. There we go. So as you can see, when I click on them, it does show me that it is connected. Perfect. It's exactly what I want. So now I should be able to make some stuff with this. Okay, so we should be able to make our first piece of terra steel if everything goes correctly. Um, that mana pool is completely full. It uses a half a mana pool, I do believe. And if everything is correct, I should be able to make one Terra Steel. Unless something's changed. I didn't even look at the book. Actually, I should probably look before I make a huge mistake. This guide actually tells you. Um, use a spark, one of your mana pools. Terra Steel, okay. Toss or right click. Mana Seal, Mana Diamond, and Mana Pearl on the plate. Okay. So nothing's changed. So we need an Ender Pearl and a Diamond. Sweet. Okay. So all of these can be turned. And we need to place it on this plane. And once that happens, some things should start working. Okay, so, got to be quick with it, and bam, we start getting some pretty particle effects. How cool is that? 
And now this should work. We do have enough mana. And nothing's in our way. I do like how it actually... There's like a... Uh, shader on top of that block. I didn't... I never, never noticed that. Bam! There's our first piece of Terra Steel. And it should have used half this mana pool. And it did. So it used half half of that mana pool. And we have one piece of Terra Steel. That is awesome. We've gotten that. So now we can get Spark Augment Dominant. Sweet. So we already got a Spark Augment. So make it Natura Pylons. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I think we can actually, with one Terra Steel, we can make a Natura Pylon. Um and open a portal to Alfhelm. I think, I think, what is this? This is Elven Gateway Core. Has those changed? Oh, we have to go to the Twilight Forest? Oh boy, does not get used in regular crafting. Okay, so it doesn't get used up. But the Lamp of Cinders, that's something that, that's like in deep inside of uh, the Twilight Forest. Ooh, I love the Twilight Forest. I can't wait to go. Um, but yeah, we have our first... We're moving on. We're, we're getting there. That was... That unlocks this. And then, like I said, the, the Natura Pylons are relatively cheap besides these. But we can't use those yet until we have... Until we have... Uh, I've gone to the um, Twilight Forest. Okay, so we could make the ring of magnetization. It's like the only, only magnetization ring that looks like there is available. Um, then there's a greater ring of magnetization. I guess that upgrades your ring. I guess that uses terra steel. Holy moly, it does. And null catalyst from witchery. Oh boy. That oh. So we won't be doing that, right? Oh, I know that generates another star, right? No, that makes this. Whoa! But at least you can double it once you've made it for the first time. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we got terra steel. I mean, we can make some more terra steel. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, all I need to do is take this, move my spark. And I can set my spark. Where'd it go? I'm missing a spark. I know it just dropped. What? Where'd it go? In here? It shouldn't have disappeared unless it fell into a mana pool. Man, I don't want to make another one. I guess I'll have to. Well, making another one. I have to. Wow. There it is. Ah, it was kind of glitched out, I guess. Oh, well. Uh, what we can do is place it above there. That should be linked to it as well. And we can get ourselves Mana Diamond, Ender Pearl, and Steel. Bam. Pretty much everything we need to make Tear Steel, we completely have. So making Terra Steel is not an issue anymore because it just requires half a mana pool and that's easily obtainable with this setup. So with all these Endo Flames, it doesn't take very long. Um, honestly, I think um, these mana spreaders, uh, apparently they can't handle all nine of these. Um, they completely fill up and um, I've only ever used six for one mana spreader. So... That is an issue. So yeah, we now have Terra Steel. What all things can we do with Terra Steel? We can make Terra Steel armor. 
Ooh, we can get the uh, Gaia Sphere ingot um, later on. The Thorn Chakram is a good weapon um, against the Gaia Guardian. Um, an axe, block of terra seal, which I bet that's used in some kind of recipe, of course. Craziness. What is that to make? I guess that makes tear steel. Holy moly. Ah, tear steel is also used in uh, our progression. Like, we're going to have to use this to progress. We need these ingots to make the arcane plith. That's going to be like our next episode, our next steps into moving on to our future episodes. Um, because it says it right here in the guide. So craft, it says that's the craft the imaginary thing, let's make your cra crops grow faster, but it says craft that, a, uh, an algor, al I can't, I can usually I, when I want to pronounce it, I can pronounce it. Um, terra steel, uh, agglomeration plate. Um, use it to make one terra steel ingot, we've done that. Alright, make six arcane pedestals, and use two red urium, urium ingots to make an arcane plith. Um, I love how t it tells you to make one terrestrial ingot, but you really need to make two because it's one ingot makes. Um, I'm pretty sure one ingot makes one. Yeah, you need two of these ingots to make the plith. Um, I don't think I'm pronounce or spelling it right. Let me look. What is it? Arcane pedestals. Um, and these are the arcane pedestals, I think, from Blood Magic. Right? Yeah, the arcane pedestals require runes of fire. These are all going to be fun to make. I'll have to make a bunch of runes. Um, automating these runes would be a nice thing, but right now, I don't think I have the stuff to automate them. Uh, quadruple compressed cobblestone. That's not going to be fun. Oh, actually, I know a way to do that. That is not actually as bad as I think it is. Um, we have RF tools in this pack, right? We should be able to get ourselves the crafter. The tier 3 crafter? What does that require? Machine frame from RF Tools. That is something that we are going to need. Yeah, that's a crafting recipe right there. Hopefully we have everything to make that. Um, the workbench. Do I have that already? Don't. But yeah, this is going to be our best way of getting cobblestone in here. Hmm. Um, I did have an issue with my cobblestone generator. I was using the uh, cobblestone generator from Extra Utilities, and it corrupted my world, so I had an issue with that. So I had to get rid of it in MC Edit. Not fun. That was something that I had to deal with. Let's see, what is our progression? Has to make all of that stuff. Weird, another quartz is stuck in there. Don't know if that's supposed to happen. I think it is. I think we have to ha wait for some stuff. Oh, there, it's already done. It's already done. Alright, machine frame is done. Uh, that don't need to be in there. So the machine frame from RF Tools, exactly what we need. I think we need one of the workbenches. But this crafter is really nice. Okay. Some tin gears. That's not bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Of course we need a crafting table. And I crafted wood. I crafted a lot of it. Huh. 
Where'd it go? There we go. Crafter. So, that is done there. Then we just need everything else, and that gets stepped up from there. Correct? Sweet. And the tier 3. Bam. Okay, tier 3 crafter. That should be good enough. So we need a world interaction upgrade. Speed upgrades. That shouldn't be hard to make. Bam, and then we also need a item. Transfer node. And I'll try this again, but I did have it mess up on me, like he said. Um, but this time, it's not going to go into a capacitor. It's not going to go into the drawer here. Don't want it to do that. I think that's probably what messed it up. Was it doesn't like to interact with that. It's going to go into the crafter instead. Okay. I think it will directly go into the crafter. Should. We just need to tell it what recipes to do. And we also need to give it some power. Um, I'll just use a node, or a Tesseract, right now. There's a Tesseract. I don't like that. Where did the Creeper come from? Get out of here. Okay. So we'll set this to 2. And main power. We'll set that to receiving energy. Now it should be full. We'll do speed, fast. Make sure this is in there. And our upgrades. Um, maybe we should do more world interaction upgrades. Okay. Let's try that. I think that makes it go faster. Okay, that does six at a time. Yeah, we can make more world, world interaction upgrades. We need a bunch of these. We need this to go as fast as it possibly can. Okay, that's 14 at a time. Um, okay, so it gathered Mencio Essence somehow. I don't like that, but okay. Alright, so we can set this is going to be our first recipe. And hit apply. Okay, it's going to turn all that into this. Uh, we actually want this to set to um, keep, this is, we'll keep the items in the inventory slot. I want it to stay. I want it to go inside here instead of the output. Apply. There we go. So that's all going to go in here. Then I'm going to go to this one. And we're going to turn that into that. Awesome. And now we have to wait until we get enough. Oh, this recipe. Actually, we got to go back. Set this to inside. So it stays inside the internal. There we go. And then we'll set the next recipe. And make sure that stays internal and apply. So now we got triple compressed cobblestone. So now we just have to kind of let this do its thing um, until we get some quadruple compressed cobblestone. Or at least get nine of these. And we'll be able to move on from there. So yeah, uh, we just really need to get some more upgrades on this. Um, world interaction. Um, let's see. World interaction upgrades. Just need a bunch of iron picks. That's like the only thing that's kind of a pain to make. Yep, just a pain 
to make. There's 20. So that's producing 34 at a time. I don't know if the speed... All right, it does help. Yeah, the speed does help. Speed helps a lot, actually. Otherwise, it wouldn't transfer through this pipe very fast. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. So I'm just going to let this do its thing. Um, I'm going to have to set it up. I think it'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. five uh, that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will do all 8, so it'll do our compressed cobblestone for us. It doesn't honestly require that much power, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I forgot to mention, I removed my reactor. I moved it, and I added to it. It's actually quite different now. Um, it is automated, so uh, all I did was I hooked the vibrant capacitor up here, um, and it's running a line. Behind that's a power spot. Behind this is the redstone port, and I have this set to the default signal storage when it uses it emits a signal whenever it gets below 75%, and uh, whenever the storage is greater than 99, it will shut the machine down. So it's going to keep this thing completely full and not use as much fuel. And as you can see, I'm using blocks right now. Um, and then over here, it's automatically processing. And it uh, doesn't look like it's processing too much. I don't know why. Is it all going over here? No. Um, eject waste. I guess it's just not creating that much waste. I've had this running for quite a while. It's just not producing that much waste. I guess because it's shutting off and shutting back on. Um, but inside here is the cryothium. Um, there's only five fuel rods, and they're five tall, um, so it produces about 10 to 12,000 RF a tick, um, but it does pretty good and doesn't use much fuel. So that's a plus. As you can see, my handiwork, I didn't, didn't close it up. You guys supposed to? There we go. Um, but yeah, everything's hooked up and working, So and now I have this section open um, to do whatever I guess I, I need to do here. I know this is going to be my portal room, because I've already got all my portals set up. Um, but, yeah, I've not had any issues. Um, I'm going to see if this is done. There it is. And we'll go ahead and set this last one up. And we'll call it good for today's episode. So, bam, we're getting quadruple compressed cobblestone. We are going to need a lot more than that. So, um, I'm going to have to let this run probably overnight. So, we'll be able to gather a bunch more stuff. Um, but yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time, and we're fixing to move into a pretty difficult section of this pack. And I hope you guys are ready for it. I know I definitely am. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.